Hi, and welcome to another presentation from Your Business Tutor. Learning your way, anytime, anywhere. It is often said that an organisation's greatest asset is its staff. They are probably the single biggest factor that can give a business long-term competitive advantage. Nevertheless, as true as this statement is, so is the opposite. Staff can drag a business down. Their actions, their behaviour can negatively impact on the potential success of a business. It is therefore vital to realise, as we have already done so when we looked at motivation, what issues positively impact on staff being an organisation's greatest asset. So with that, let's introduce today's topic, which will look at the value of training one of the most influential factors on staff performance. So what are we going to learn in this presentation? Well, we're going to find out about the value of training and developing staff. There is no doubt that effective training can improve employee performance. Nevertheless, although training offers many benefits, it is also important to realise that there are also disadvantages as well. As such, to identify the overall value of training, it would be prudent to identify both the advantages and the disadvantages of training. So with that, let's first ask, what are the advantages of training? One of the major benefits of training staff is that their skills will improve, which put simply means they will become better at their job. This has a number of related advantages in that if employees are better at their job, they will be more productive. They will be able to produce more items in a shorter space of time. But more than that, the quality of their work will also improve because they will make fewer mistakes and errors due to better training. This is great for a business for two reasons. First, Producing better products will attract more customers to the business. And second, if fewer mistakes are made in production, the level of wastage will be much lower, which saves the business money. Of course, training staff also has other advantages, such as staff will be more motivated as they can see that their employer is investing in them, which makes them feel valued. This is a big benefit because, as we know, if staff are motivated, they are far more likely to provide great customer service, which results in happy customers, but also are far more likely to stay with the business. Training also helps to improve health and safety within an organisation. If staff know what they are doing and have been trained to use new equipment, they are less likely to use it incorrectly and get injured in the process. And finally, training staff makes a business more flexible. If staff are able to undertake more tasks, then they are more able to cover for staff who are absent due to illness or holiday. Okay, so what about the disadvantages? of training staff. Probably the biggest disadvantage of training and the issue that puts off a lot of organisations is the cost of providing it. Employing a trainer, sending staff on courses, booking hotel accommodation all costs money which would reduce a business's profits. In fact, these additional costs could be even higher if cover staff or overtime has to be paid to remaining employees when others are away being trained. Of course, even if an employee is trained at work by an experienced colleague, disadvantages can still occur. For example, when training someone, the trainer's output will be lower than normal as they are showing the new person what to do. Moreover, as the trainer is now taking on added responsibility, they may expect higher pay. In fact, this can be an even bigger issue because after a member of staff has been trained and they've taken on new skills, they may very well expect to be paid more as they can now do additional things. Or alternatively, they may expect a promotion 
which if not available may mean that an employee leaves the business for another organisation where a promotion is available. This of course is not ideal as all the money spent on training the member of staff is lost when they leave for a competitor. OK, let's now go on to ask, what are the advantages of training to an employee? One of the big advantages is that training will make an employee more confident in their job. They will make fewer mistakes and will carry out their job safely, meaning they are less likely to get injured at work. More than that though, by learning new skills, an employee will become better at their job which means they are far more likely to receive a pay rise or a promotion due to excellent performance. In fact, sometimes as a reward for completing training, an employee will receive an automatic pay rise. For example, when the training results in the employee gaining a formal qualification. This of course also provides other benefits in that when applying for jobs, an employer will often ask about an employee's qualifications. As you'd expect, if an employee has a number of irrelevant qualifications, they will have a much better chance of getting an interview. But more than that, undertaking regular training allows many staff employed in professions such as medicine and accountancy to maintain their professional status and carry on working. OK, let's now turn and find out what the disadvantages are to an employee of training. One of the main issues employees have with training is it can take up a considerable amount of their own time. For example, in some industries such as accountancy, employees are expected to log into online courses in their own time to complete training that gains them qualifications. But more than that, in some instances, employees will also be expected to pay for or at least make a contribution to the cost of their training. In fact, even when an employer pays for the training, an employee may still face restrictions in that if they leave the business within a certain period, they will have to repay all or part of the cost of the training to their employer. OK, so what did we learn in this presentation? Well, we found out about the value of training and developing staff. Although there are disadvantages of training, there is no doubt that good training more than pays for itself in the positive effects it has on not only staff, but also on organisational performance. This is why when we look around the business world for organisations that have achieved success over the long term, one of their key drivers is the regular and consistent investment they make in training their staff to the highest levels.